Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Oasis and I welcome you to another video of Java Essential Training Series. So in the last couple of videos, I was talking about the polyformism concepts such as uh, runtime polyformism, encapsulation, and this video is going to be about abstract classes. So what are the abstract classes? Uh, later in the video, I'll give you guys an example as well. First, let me, tell, let me explain to you what is an abstract class. So, abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation detail and showing only the functionality to the user, okay? So, a class that is declared with abstract keyword is known as abstract class in Java. It can have abstract and non-abstract method as well. Don't worry if you don't get it, I'll give you an example in a second, okay? So another way it shows only important things to the user and hides the internal details. For example, when you send an email, right, you just type your content and then just click on the send button, which will send that email, but it doesn't show you the process of how it does. All right. So that's is basically abstraction. Let me give you another example. Uh, let's say okay let me give you another uh, email ex uh, example again okay so for example when you consider the case of email complex details such as what happens soon you send an email the protocol your email server uses are hidden from the user so therefore to send an email you must need you just need to type the content mention the address of the receiver and then click send likewise in object oriented programming Abstraction is the process of hiding implementation details from the user. Okay, so a class which contains the abstract keyword, it is known as abstract class. So let me give you an example, okay? This video is going to be a bit long, but be patient, but we're gonna discuss this abstract uh, in details. All right, so let me declare a class. So abstract, okay, and I'll type class, and then I will, I could uh, type the access modifier as well, but don't worry about it now. So I would say, let's say, wide, okay. No, sorry, not wide. I'm not making a method, but okay. And then let's say, uh, print info, okay. And then we add a code block. So that's an abstract class, okay. Let me give you an example of abstract method. So if I go inside and I'll say wide, sorry, abstract, wide, get info. Okay, so that's going to be an abstract method. Okay, so class start with abstract word is an abstract class. Method start with abstract word is a keyword. It's an abstract method. Okay. So abstract classes may or may not contain abstract method, which I've shown you. There could be another method without an abstract keyword. I would say get info one, and then we can add a code block to it, and then I print out whatever we want to print out. Hello, YouTube. Okay, so abstract class can have abstract and uh, non-abstract methods, all right? Next step, but if a class have at least one ma abstract method, then the class must be declared as abstract. So let's say this is a class print info, right? If we have abstract method, right? If I get rid of this and I'll just say uh, public, okay? Then it gives me an error. Let's read the error. So class print info must either be declared abstract or implement abstract method okay that's why we need to declare the class as abstract because we have one abstract method in the class uh, let's go to the next step so if a class is declared abstract it cannot be instantiated instantiated actually my pronunciation for this word is pretty bad so instantiated okay what does that mean let me give you an example let's uh, make this class abstract okay and then we have the print info right and we have one method okay so let me just get rid of this method as well uh, so we have print info class which is an abstract class and we have a wide method okay 
get info one method. Can I make an object and use that object in my main class? So let's have a look. All right, so if I type print info and obj is the object name, new keyword, and let's say print info. Oops, there is an error. Select the method to override slash implement, okay? Well, you can make this, but I don't wanna go through with this because there are a lot of methods here. So let's cancel it. And let's just get rid of this code block. And then we're just gonna use our uh, general method declaring uh, syntax. Okay, so now we use this class, create an object and then new and the class. Let's read that right. Print info is abstract, cannot be instantiated. So we cannot directly access the method inside this class or variables inside this class. We cannot access anything which ha which is in this class. So that means instantiation, instantiation, okay? All right, now let's go to the next step. To use an abstract class, you have to inherit it from another class, provide implementation to the abstract method in it. All right, let me give you an example. So now, if I want to use this class, I need to make a subclass of this class. So let's do that. All right, so I will type class and I will name it, let's say print, uh, get print info, okay? Get print info. All right, and let's do this. And then now we're gonna get inherited. We can we can extend this to print info one. All right, so now we can, uh, we're inheriting from this class. So now if I go here and I'll type get get info, oops, it's okay. And now I'm gonna type get here as well. It's going to make an error, okay. So now in that main class now, because this abstract class is, uh, is inherited in here, so now I can use this class and create an object and access everything available in that abstract class, which is a print info, okay? So let's say, I would say uh, obj dot, and I'm going to call that method get info one, which is here, okay? So if we run the program, it should say hello world now. Come on, my computer is a bit slow. Yep, hello YouTube. Okay, so again, we cannot access this class. This information is hidden to the user now. Let's say this is the user, we are the main class, and this abstract class is hidden now, okay? You can't access it. To access it, you need to use the other class, which is a subclass of this class now. All right, we have covered that topic now. Next step, if you inherit an abstract class, you have to provide implementation to all abstract method in it. Let's say, I will change this to abstract, okay? And I am getting an error. Now, if a method is an abstract method, okay? So abstract method cannot have a body. All right, you cannot provide any body to it. You cannot add variable, you cannot add if, you can't add anything to it. So I've gotta get rid of this code and I've gotta get rid of this code block. Okay, add a parenthesis and semicolon. All right, now it should remove the error. So now we need to uh, use that method here now okay so we need to apply a body of that class here so i can use let's say i would say uh wide okay get info one okay and then add a method and then come down next block of code and i would say as out and say hello youtube okay so basically that method exists here, but we're going to apply a body, or add a body into this subclass, which is extended from this class. Okay, so we have covered a few things about abstract class now, but now what I'm going to do is basically, I'm going to write a big program, okay? So it's going to be very long if I 
keep explaining the program as well but don't worry i won't use anything new in the program i will only use whatever we have covered in the course so uh, i'm just going to fast forward the video and i'll write the program and then once it's done and then I'll explain that and I will, we will look at the abstract class and i hope that it will explain to you guys a bit more in details all right so let's go all right guys so i've made another class called employee okay it's an abstract class all right and then we have the class name employee here i have the private string name address number so now the class is an abstract class all right so if i go back to my main.java i'm just going to get rid of uh, stuff here okay so because that's the abstract class okay so what i do now i will just try to access that class now so employee obj is equal to new employee okay again again i've got an error that should i override it or implement that okay what i'm gonna not i'm not gonna do that so i'll just get rid of this code block this is because intellij idea does a lot of stuff for us so that's why it give us that error and recommendation so hold that over hover over your cursor to the employee so this is an abstract class cannot be instantiated all right to access this class what we have to do now is basically create another class let's say a salary class okay so i'm going to create another class which is going to be extend from employee and here i'm going to write down a bit of code uh, and then i'll just tell you guys but here first of all let me show you extend employee all right so i've done uh writing my program here basically this is a class extend from employee class okay so now in the salary subclass everything is available what we have written in employee class all right so i'm gonna go back to my main.java and now instead of using employee class i'm just going to create a salary class so salary all right and then here change the employee to all right so now if uh, i hover over here in the parentheses I can see that salary and salary cannot be applied to expected. So I'm, I'm expecting string, string, and number, uh, which is an integer data type and double, right? So uh, that's the another error. So let me just finish that. So I'll type my name. Uh, I'll say comma and uh, programmer, programmer, okay, comma, and then it's in the integer. So I'll say ID one and then my salary, let's say 80, let's point this okay all right so now i don't see any error so as you guys can see that now i can access uh employee class by accessing salary class all right because it's a subclass so that's inheritance and that's called abstraction okay so this data is not visible to the user now okay it's hidden so the only way we can access that by salary class now so that was a uh, uh, tutorial about abstraction guys and um i tried my best to explain it to you guys but still if you have any question uh let me know in the comments below and you can follow me on twitter and ask me direct question over there uh thanks for watching again and talk to you guys in the next video next video is going to be about inheritance thanks for watching bye